I knew exactly what I wanted to do at the intermission of Miriam Makiba, Mama Africa the Musical, by the original cast CD, which was released just in time for the North American premiere of this new musical at the Two Hill. The recording was made in South Africa and mastered in St. Louis. The international origin of the CD reflects the origin of the musical itself. It was a joint venture between the University of the Western Cape in South Africa, where the premiere took place earlier this year, and the University of Missouri-St. Louis, which is the home of Nii Coker, the E. Desmond Lee Endowed Professor of African and African American Studies. He spent three years researching and writing the show, which he also directed. The title character is Miriam Makiba, the legendary South African-born musician and human rights activist whose nickname was Mama Africa. Wikipedia calls her the first artist from Africa to popularize African music around the world in the 1960s. Her musical career took off in the United States quickly. Less than three years after her American debut, she was singing at the Madison Square Garden birthday party of President Kennedy, who insisted on meeting her afterwards. But social activism is just as much a part of Makiba's legacy as her music. After she testified against apartheid at the United Nations, the South African government retaliated by revoking her citizenship and her right to return home. The premise of Mama Africa the musical is that the older Miriam, played by Jennifer Paul Kazaka, is telling her story and reflecting on her many trials in a televised interview in 1990 on the eve of her return from exile. Scenes from throughout her life are presented as flashbacks in which Shimangela Mashazi plays the younger Miriam, also known as Zenzi. These episodes are connected and commented on by a narrator played by Philo Nodlaia, whose voice has striking resonance. The combination of the narration and the framing device of the interview gave the storytelling an impression of reliability at the expense of dramatic momentum. But what really matters here is the music. The songs are drawn from Makeba's repertory, including originals and covers. The numbers were dazzling throughout, thanks to the original cast of 40 South African actors, as well as musical director George Werner, choreographers Tandi Swartboy and Zakes Nikosi, arranger Philo Nodlaia, costume designer Philly Catherine Davenport, and scenic lighting and projection designer Glenn Anderson. My cherished CD preserves only the sound of this production, but you can see as well as hear a little of it now. Thank <laughs> you.